Honor the Fallen Heroes 9-11, they're outside our studio waiting for us. I'm going to head there now, John Sad. I'll see you upstairs out in the plaza. She gets with to play some cars. with all the cool toys. Bye, John. My name is Doug. And My partner Jenna Lee, who is up on the plaza with some very cool things to show us. Jenna? Hi, John. You know, following up on Jonathan Sari's report, one of the things we're doing this week is taking a look at how different people are remembering 9 11. And we have a very special moving memorial to show you. Coming up, we're going to take a look at Fueled by the Fallen. Take a look at all these cars. We'll get the backstory just ahead on Happening Now. Welcome back, everybody. You know, as a journalist, sometimes you find stories and other times the stories find you. And just over the weekend, I was walking through Times Square when I saw all these flashing lights. And as I moved towards the flashing lights, I realized there wasn't actually an emergency happening, but there was these Camaros, these brand new Camaros. In fact, take a look at all of them. You can see why this could catch your attention. And I found a story that I really wanted to share with you. Kevin Major Howard is the founder of Fueled for the Fallen, or by the Fallen, yes, I should say, Kev yes. Kevin. And you basically created some moving memorials to remember 9-11 and also to remember some of our servicemen and women. Tell us a little bit about you know, where you got this idea. You know, about five years ago, we're all sitting in front of our television sets, and we learned that 12 died today in Iraq, Afghanistan, two the day before, five even the day before that. Uh, I woke up one morning and I said, Kevin, try to recall one name of a fallen hero that died for my personal freedom. And Jenna, I couldn't do it, and I was paying attention. So I sat back with imagination and I said, America is probably experiencing the same thing I am. How do we not take complacency but put it back in our lives because our heroes are truly the magnificence and the foundation of this great nation. So this is a really interesting idea. Let's walk a little bit towards some of these cars so people can see uh, about it. And just so you know, here we are in the middle of Midtown Manhattan during lunch, and, and we have different people stopping by to take a look at the names. So uh, what exactly do you have written on these cars, and, and why did you choose these specific cars to, to put this memorial on? You know, Chevrolet is so American. It's of American pie. It's, it's been with us forever. Um, I chose them because of I created these as the White Angels, the 9-11 Angels. Uh, this is actually Angel One. This is our 9-11 first responders. Uh, the names on the car are those of our police, fire, and paramedics who ran into those buildings to save other people's lives, risking their own. And so some of these other cars are the names of those in the building, also the names at the Pentagon as well? Yes, right behind me we have Angel Two, and she's one of the Twin Towers, Angel Three. Another twin tower, then the Pentagon with Flight 77. You know, I was just talking to one of the women that was standing out here uh, during commercial, and she was searching the car for a name of, of one of her students. And you were telling the story that you were down at the Pentagon. You brought these, these cars to the Pentagon. What was the reaction there? Well, you know, the cars are absolutely embraced. This is our history. This is our country. And at the Pentagon, we met a family who was looking for their son, Romeo. And uh, we found him, and we stood by, and we shared stories and, and smiles. and. Uh, remembered who Romeo was. This is our real history, and, 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 I, and I love to tell this to others. This is our great nation. Let's teach our baby six more words tomorrow. Yes, sir, no, sir, please and thank you. I think America would just be stronger for that. Let's keep this in our lives. This is our history, past, present, and future. Let's never forget these are precious and devastated families. Uh, if, if this tribute brings to life a memory of someone else that they've lost, I think it's a grand moment. Let's walk a little bit towards this Jeep a little bit, if we could follow with the camera as well, because it says, let's roll Spirit of Liberty Foundation as well. you got to see this Jeep, because it's covered with an American flag. That certainly makes a statement. Where do you think this comes from inside of you? When you, when you think about your patriotism and, and you think about this project, you know, people think about great ideas all the time. But what, what made you actually go out and do it? You know, I had a great father, and he told me about respect and compassion for your fellow man. I think we're in a time now where we just need to turn to our neighbors, introduce ourselves by name. Uh, this is a spirit of unity. Um, this is a time when we all need to come together and not, not forget our past, but walk into the future with this bright angel light that we all share. And, and by the way, 
these Jeeps will actually be on eBay and they're being auctioned off to give back to the heroes. Please uh, come visit. You know, I was curious about what your next step is because you've taken these cars around the country to dif different cities to, to, again, show this moving memorial. But what's next for you? What's next for the foundation? Where are you going to bring them next? You know, our foundation is fueled by the fallen and our motto is teach a child to thank a hero today. So we are on the road to that journey to make sure that each and every small town, city and state get a chance to touch these heroes, reflect on them, talk about them amongst your family. Let's educate our babies. They're about to inherit this country in a very short time. Well, Kevin Major Howard, we appreciate it. This was no easy task, by the way, getting all these cars outside of our headquarters here in Fox News, and we appreciate it. Fueledbythefallen.org is where you can actually check out more about these vehicles, more about your story. Absolutely. And we thank you so much for joining us today, Kevin. Jenna, thank you so much for having the angels back at home in New York City. We'll, we'll gladly take all angels. John, back to you in the studio. Some, some great paint jobs there yeah. for eye-catching, aren't they? Thanks, Jenna. Coming up, some...